All right, so here's a couple of unit conversion um, problems, okay? So this is back to what we talked about with the Mars spacecraft that uh, crashed um, after they messed up the units because they weren't paying attention. Okay, so here's an example. A solid rocket booster is ordered with a specification that is to produce a total of 10 million pounds of thrust. Okay, if this number is mistaken for the thrust in newtons, by how much in pounds will the thrust be in error? Okay, so we're going to start off with 10 million. Okay, and they want 10 million pounds, but if they made a mistake and they assumed when you gave me the number, I assumed it was newtons, because of course, everybody in the most of the world uses newtons, that uh, I'm going to get 10,000 newtons out. Okay, and then here's my conversion factor. So I see that newtons is on the top and I want it to go on to the bottom, right? Because I want to be able to cancel that. And then one pound on the top. Okay, with LB being the um, uh, units for pound, the abbreviation, okay? So 10 million, 10, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, divided by 4.5 newtons, okay, is 10 million, is 2 million, basically 222,000, repeating whatever, okay? All right, so really, if they did that, they wanted 10 million pounds, but they were only getting out uh, about 2 million pounds, roughly, about 2 million, okay? So they're actually off by, if I subtract those, so 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, minus answer, okay? We're off by like 7, 7, 7, 7, so, so many 7s, I just abbreviate this, whatever, 8, round it, okay? Is that right? Two, three, three. Yeah. Okay. So they're off by nearly 8 million pounds. So you think you're getting 10 million pounds, but you're really only getting about 2 million pounds. Okay. So that's obviously, you can see how that's going to cause a problem. Okay. The second one, um, at Tokyo Disneyland Space Mountain, an axle broke on a roller coaster mid-ride, causing it to derail, uh, mainly because there was a wrong size uh, due to a conversion, basically, again, from English to metric units. Okay. So they're saying if a bolt was ordered with a thread diameter of 1.25 inches, okay, what is this diameter in millimeters, all right? So if I have 1.25 inches, okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and look up the conversion. I'll probably put it on the class kick for you. Uh, inches to millimeters. I think it's like 254, 25.4, yeah, okay? So one inch is 25.4 millimeters. I'll go ahead and write that on, okay? Um, so again, here's my inches on the top, so I know I have to put inches under here, all right? And that goes with the one. And then 25.4 millimeters, okay, on the top. And then those units are going to cancel. So 1.25 times 25.4 Okay, so they really were getting a part of 31.75 millimeters, okay? Um, and they're saying if the order was mistaken to be 1.25 centimeters, right? So here again, we're going to start instead of inches, we're going to assume that they decided centimeters, okay? And then one centimeter has 10 millimeters in it. Right. If you think about a ruler, right, the little tiny marks are, are millimeters, and then the numbers are um, centimeters. Okay, so 1.25 times 10 is 12.5 millimeters. Okay, and as you can see, that's off by quite a lot. You can see why that's going to cause a problem. Okay, it's off by two point. No, that's not right. Not divided by. Oops, again, 31.75. See how I knew that wasn't right because I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Minus. Minus. Okay, so it was off by 19.25 millimeters, right, if I subtract those. Okay, so that's a pretty big difference. Okay, that's going to definitely cause a problem. Okay, all right, number three, um, Air Canada Flight 143 ran out of fuel about halfway through its flight from Montreal to Edmonton. Uh, fuel loading was miscalculated uh, through a misunderstanding of recently adopted metric system. Okay, again, an English to metric problem. Okay, for the trip, the pilot calculated a requirement of 22,300 kilograms of fuel. Okay, so that's what we've got, 22,300 kilograms. And there was already some in the tank, okay? So let's see, if a liter of jet fuel has a mass of 0.803 kilograms, okay? So there's my similar unit, so I know that's going to go on the bottom. Kilograms, and that's worth one liter. That's a capital L. Do that in chemistry next year. Okay, so now I'm going to have 22,300 times one, 
right? And then divided by 0 0.803. Okay, so what he really needed was 27,770.9 liters um, of fuel, okay? Um, so 22,300 kilograms is equal to 27,770 liters, okay? Um, and then there were... I don't really understand this question. 7682 liters already in the tank. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Um, so if they already had 7682, right, but I need 27,000, so minus 7682, okay, that would be an additional 20,088.9 liters to, to be added. Okay. So this one I don't think is asking you about what was the problem, but he said 22, 300 kilograms. So let's just hope that that's right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So he needed that much. So clearly, I guess there was an error somewhere. All right. And that is it for this.